Hi guys, Blue Fenty. Right, today I'm going to go over show you how I make my chili pies. I was asked by this by um, Kitchen Mama, Kitchen Voodoo Mama, and um, Doc Inc. So I'm going to do go for it quickly. Basically, I got my rolling pin. I like to use a tin of chili. I don't like to do it from fresh because from scratch because I find the liquid's just too much liquid. And these are quite good to have. These make 24. Well, yeah, 24 pies per tin if you just use the basic bun tins and i've got my gluten free lactose free pastry there i will do a lactose free and gluten free pastry tutorial one day but it takes to it sometimes it's a hit and miss sometimes it works sometimes it don't as you can see this stuff's actually quite damp in the inside but dry on the outside so that's just gluten free pastry for your full stop right i'm going to roll some out and then i'll bring you back see in a bit Right guys, so you can see I've rolled up some of the pastry. I've put some of the pastry into the into this dish already. I don't like a lot of pastry. So I don't really make my pastry cases that big. But yeah, they just what you could do. Roll it out nice and thin as you can see. And just put it in. The thinner the better I find. Because the thinner the better the crispier the pastry becomes. Sorry about that, so that's just a message come through on the laptop. And um yeah, and after you've done all that, you just spoon in some of the chilli into the actual pastry cases themselves. I don't cook off the pastry fast because I just never have done, never will do. And you can tell I didn't, I misjudged, I didn't count properly. I only counted 11. I thought I counted 12. But I counted 11, so I have to roll out another large one. But that's okay. I've got enough pastry left over. So yeah, as you can see, that's the pastry left over. That's the pastry I've been using. Just bring it back after we've done the um other bits of pastry. See you Right guys, as you can see, I've put the mincemeat in the actual pie, in the actual things. You don't really need a lot. Some of them I've put too much in, like that one there, I've put too much in, that one there, where I've probably put too much in. That one there, I definitely have, I know that. And all you do, just pick up these, the lids, and just put them on top. It's the same as making mince pies, it's the same as making meat patties. It's the same as making a lot of things. I like them a lot. I eat them a lot. I, as I said, I do live on my own. And doing things like this, sometimes it's relaxing for me. It would... Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping you guys will give this a go, because I reckon you would enjoy them, especially you, Doc. I know you would have to put a bit more hot sauce in yours. I gotta be careful about hot sauce because of my um taste buds. My taste buds are extremely different compared to a lot of people's. But yeah, and that's what you do, and then you just basically egg wash them, and you stick them in the oven. I stick them in the oven for about 20 minutes. I put them on gas mark 7. I don't know what that is in degrees or Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in electric oven. Sorry, guys, because I don't use electric. I prefer to use gas. And that's all I've got. And um, so, yeah, just egg wash them, stick them in the oven, and they're done. And I'll bring them out once I've cooked, and I'll show you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you in a bit. Hey guys, last bit. Um, there you go. That's all of them out. That's all. That's the first lot out. As you can see, they're nice and done. Nice bottoms. Yeah. So they're cooling down now. I don't eat them. I eat them hot if I wanted to, but they're not for tonight. They're for later. So, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.